dreamstime.com audio. Hi, Aditya. My name is Bhavesh. I am Gate Aerospace Lead Nine Rank Thirty One in two thousand twenty-three, and I am pursuing my M Tech in Aerospace Engineering at Indian Institute of Science. So, first of all, very congratulations to you for achieving Lead Nine Rank Seventeen this year. And so, we would like to have some questions for you. So, first, I would like you to introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, Bhavesh. Uh, so. Uh, I am Aditya Anil Kumar. Uh, basically, I am from Kurukshetra, Haryana. Uh, you know the land of Mahabharata. <laughs> and currently, I am pursuing my B.Tech in Aerospace Engineering from IST Trivandrum. And right now, also I am in IST. As you can see, the library behind me. Yeah. So uh, since the very beginning, I have been very fond of you know like rockets and airplanes. And so just now, putting the efforts to uh, achieve that childhood dream. Yeah. So how are you feeling after securing All India Rank 17 in Gate 2024 in your fourth year of engineering itself? Yes, so the feeling is yeah pretty great. Uh, but you know that greed is always there. Like uh, you always think, what if I had not missed uh, made that silly mistake? I, if I corrected just two more questions right, I could have been like in top ten or top fifteen. But yeah, I'm still happy a lot. Like uh, because you always get whatever you deserve or is best for you. So yeah, I'm happy a lot. Sometime in October, uh, when I was checking for the like good uh, coaching coaching on online, and then I found this IIC website. So they had like uh, various courses uh, enlisted. Uh, but I had some uh, different specifications. Like I wanted uh, recording lectures instead of live because I have uh, my classes of fourth year. Uh, so I. How did IGC help you in achieving your dream and goal? And what kind of guidance you received from IGC? Yeah, so IGC have been a lot uh, helpful. Uh, even I gave all my credit to IGC. Uh, so firstly, all the uh, like revision short notes, assignments, and especially the test series. Uh, those were the the most helpful, and the next part was the extensive doubt code. Uh, like twenty four seven, you can just anytime put a message on the group, and uh, mostly a faculty or even like other staff, or sometimes even other students would also reply to your doubts. So uh, you get those rectified as soon as possible. So how did you manage your gate preparation along with college classes? Uh, yeah, it was pretty challenging. Uh, firstly, in October November, uh, it was tough because we have like our quizzes and. And some exams, so I just tried to give at least one or two hours in those like October November months, and then we went home in December for our winter vacation, and that was the time when I tried to revise all my concepts and all. But soon we had to get back to campus to begin my final year project. Uh, so it started sometime in January, and in that time uh, I just managed to give all my mornings to Gate since we had our exam from 9:30 to 12. 30 p.m. So I focus that this time should only be the time for gate preparations, and then later in the afternoon I did my project work, and then during the night I just revised a bit of things. So as we know, it's the entire duration for gate preparation is very important, but especially the last two months are very crucial. So how did you put more emphasis on those two months and analyze your mock exams? Yeah, so last month I basically uh, focused mainly on test series, uh, both the chapter wise test and the full list test. I sat daily morning and just uh, focused on giving test. Uh, so I'll see what sort of mistakes I have made. If those were silly, I'll just uh, see how to make my calculations correct. And if I had made some conceptual mistakes, I'll go through the IGC study material, uh, the revision notes, right. and etc. And just try to uh, see what mistakes I have made. And how did you keep yourself mentally motivated and strong? Uh, yeah, so mind is basically the strongest power of skill uh, we possess. So the, we can actually uh, just try to be optimistic always, and you know, instead of just focusing only on the studies, uh, one must try to spare some time for relaxing activities such as sports or gyms or even gaming. Like uh, what I did was I always uh, get myself like play badminton in the evening, like from five to six or six thirty p.m. And that helped me relax a lot. Okay, so being connected to IGC myself, I know that IGC offers much more than just coaching, which helps students in taking important career-related decisions. Could you share anything specific to IGC which you like the most? Uh, yeah, I'll share uh, one specific incident. Uh, soon after the uh, result, uh, the nurser called me, and the first thing was he congratulated, and then very next question he asked uh, was that, "What are your future plans?" So we talked quite a long, and he discussed me all the like opportunities that I have, all the things that can be done, and what are their 
uh, like since he has like a lot of experience in this stream so he guided me these are the colleges these are the courses you could try for and etc etc so his opinions like uh, mattered a lot to me and that was the best part i liked about idc like the this personal touch that the nature always tries to give so can you please share some tips and motivation for upcoming gate aspirants in 2025 and what can they do for achieving rank similar as yours yeah so first the, the and the foremost thing i'll say that uh, i have seen uh, many students uh, they don't fix a schedule for their preparations uh, they'll just sit randomly one hour or two hours in the afternoon then sometime in the evening so i'll recommend not to do that instead just see uh, at what time is your gate exam if it is in the morning or if it is in the evening uh, then fix that schedule like for example uh, as i already mentioned our exam was from 9:30 to 12:30 so i fix that particular time only for gate like or that time i don't have to do anything nor my project work nothing else just gate and the second thing is uh, just be positive and the biggest motivation is just that the three year validity so it's just that you have to perform once and it will give you a freedom for three years like you can then explore your domain and without like having a burden that where will you go after 3 years so it just gives you that freedom and just don't burden yourself uh, if you are in all in idc just trust the process and be sincere that's all yeah so very very thank you so for sharing these uh, useful insights with us and that's all from my side so th thanks thanks yeah. for your time yeah thanks bhavesh thanks for having me